Hi ladies, Claire here. Um, I'm slowly redoing some of my albums, the ones that I've had to music or use music um, as an overlay on because people in certain countries can't see them because the, um, of the copyright issues relating to the music. So I've had a request for a tutorial on this album and so I thought I'd talk you through how I made it, sizes and dimensions, so that you could have a go. So first of all, cover sizes, 9 inches by 6 inches, and the tutorial is the same as the Haunted album that I made, or the principal. I've used Manila card, standard card that I use for all of my albums, and I used 6x6 six six papers in this album. I wanted to do something that I could use the 6x6 six six size paper pads for, obviously because it's much cheaper. Um, so I came up with different ways of fitting those into the book. So cover size is 9 inches by 6 inches. I did order a piece of 12x12 12 12 paper, uh, the happy sheet, and this is um, my mind's eye lost and found Union Square paper. So everything inside is 6x6 but the cover was 12x12 12 12 size and then I've cut it and stretched it with the stripes and made the paper fit the album cover. I used the Sizzix die for the flourish and that is this one, the flourish floral with leaves. I use that quite a lot. And the flower is one of Tim Holt's tattered florals. And then I cut a circle out um, with my three quarter inch punch and then put stickles um, the candy cane stickles on it. Letters are a cuttlebug die and again I've raised them up with pop dots and covered them in the candy cane stickles which matches the red glitter on the paper for the cover. Okay, so let's go inside. And then I used the uh, rest of the paper. I think actually I ordered two sheets of the 12 by 12 because I've used it on the front cover and the back. Um, so I used the rest of it on the inside cover. Um, size wise for the pages, which start here, I've got some templates. So the main, main page size is five and three quarters, if you can see that, by eight and a quarter. Holes are punched to fit the Tim Holtz binder ring here. So that's the base page and then I cut, it says on there six, but I cut four of those, but you can put as many in as you like. I then cut two shaped pages using the on the edge die and it's the plaque and postage die, this one here. Let's get it the right way around so you can see it. Um, and that dimensions for those are five and three quarters by seven, slightly smaller than the base page. And then to cover up the edge of the pages and make it look as though the paper fits, I've used some strips with the postage side of that die, and that's one and a half inches wide by five and three quarters. Now I've used quite a few of those through the book. I think I cut about 12 out, but I didn't use them all. And then I cut myself a template to use as an inverted version of the page, that page. So I've used that as a template as I've cut the shape into the page. And then standard sizes for my photo mats so that 6x4 photos fit on them are a base at 6 and a half by 45 and, and then a top sheet at 6 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. And I use that size lots. The tags in this vary and I've just cut them to suit the size of the page or the embellishments that I've put on it. So just to talk you through, um, the first page I've used one of the strips at the edge sheet of 6x6 six six paper and I've cut a tag, a double tag, which is um, going to be five and a half inches I think, 
five and a quarter inches. Stickles around the edge, a Making Memories butterfly, and then I just put a pocket inside. And then a couple of tags and another butterfly to finish it off. And I've used the cinnamon stickles on that. I've overlaid the base page with a piece of card that was cut an inch shorter than the base and that's given me a pocket here. And I've used the tiny tabs and tags from Tim Holtz for the tab at the top. So that was the first page. Second page, to get this nice curve, I've got some of the X-Cuts um, frames and I've just used that, the inside of that, and cut it out with a little cutter that comes with the set. So, I've got the base page, cut a short pocket out, same depth, and then I've used uh, the Sizzix flower here and just a bit of decoration and just cut something out from the... Um, some words from the paper, and again another tag, six and a half by four and a half. The page here, I've used the shortened page using the on the edge die, and then cut an even shorter version, laid it over the top, and then that's formed a pocket for the tag to go in, and then just made a very tiny pouch there and used the embellishments from the paper just to decorate. All of the edges I've stuck with the extra sticky double-sided tape. You can use the red line tape, um, but I have found that the glue gun tape, the ATG tape, isn't sticky enough and uh, the edges do tend to come undone. So I recommend using that. Okay, decoration on the back is just a raised up baroque frame. I've got the movers and shapers that go with that raised on pop dots and then just tags slotted in behind and the paper cut um, to match the edge. This page, again another 6x6 six six sheet, I've made a pocket out of the paper and used the strip that I cut with the postage edge of the on the edge die just to cover up where the paper finishes and make it look as though the paper fitted the page, which of course it didn't, and then just put a tag in the pocket. So again, I've cut the overlay an inch shorter than the page size that I've given you, stuck that down at the sides, and then that gives you the pocket. And over the page again, I've just cut a very shortened version of the um, what was it called? Plaque die, and then made a. Let's turn it over. A little threefold book, and that was one of the Tim Holtz embossing folders, and I think that with vintage photo. So it just folds up, and fits in there, and that's just um, an embellishment. That um, I think it's my mind's eye embellishment. And I've just put stickles around the edge and popped that on there. This page, use the die again to give the pocket some shape. So, original shape size that I gave you and a shortened version gives the pocket. And then I've just put um, a very flat flower on here and there's a tag that fits in behind that. And then a black centre with the stickles the candy cane stickles on the top. This page I made a belly bar, slightly shorter, covered with the paper. Um, I've used some red ribbon. I can't remember who... Oh, that's the ribbon that goes with the collection, so that's the My Mind's Eye ribbon that goes with the collection. Used a button in the middle and put some stickles on it, and then um, just made a little card, put a ribbon on that. To slot behind. So that's um, that's one of the Tim Holtz, I think it's his label dies. 
and then just two brads there and some raised foam underneath just to raise it up from the page. This page, um, base page, so base size, and then over the top I've cut a, a piece that's an inch shorter just to give the pocket for the tag to go in. And then I use the sewing room die, some of the ribbons from the uh, My Mind's Eye collection that goes with this paper, and put some thread around the cotton reels and the buttons. And then this envelope came with some flowers that I had, so it's from the flower shop. So I just covered it with um, some black paper and one of the little Tim Holtz tattered floral flowers, and then made a tag to go inside it which doesn't want to come out, so just put a crown on that and then decorated it with some stickles and then um, again that's another one of the Tim Holtz embossing folders and uh, that just slips in behind the lady. I've actually cut a piece of card that's curved under there and then stuck that um, cut out on the top dress form, I couldn't think of what it was called, um, and I used one of the edging strips that I'd made there to cover up the shortfall in the paper. This one again, I've cut a shortened version of the um, plaque die and just laid it over the base page and then just dropped a tag in. And I've put some stickles around the edge of there very finely. It just slots in there. Again, some ribbon from the collection and just a little stamp um, and a tab there. And then cut this piece of paper shorter so that it fitted over, but you could still see the um, manila card underneath. This page, I cut out a little envelope with my, one of my Sizzix envelope dies. Again from the 6x6 paper, made a little tag to go in there, which isn't going to go back in. And then just slotted a tag behind it. Again one of the edge strips, and this is the 6x6 version of the paper I'd used on the front cover. Again overlaid with a piece of um, card an inch shorter than the base sheet that I gave you dimensions for and then just slipped a tag in there and turning over the last couple of pages I cut a base piece out here in the black card and then used the same die that I'd used on the front cover and just covered it um, in red stickles but cut it out in the black just to give a little bit of dimension and again another photo mat. And then on the back cover I just made another pocket, really simple, and put some roses um, ribbon across there and just made a little tag to go in there. So I think quite a simple little album um, and that was the back. just using a variation on a theme with one die um, to cut the shaped edges for the page. It's upside down, sorry. Um, and, and then just one or two embellishments cut from die, other dies that I've got. So I hope you find that useful and thanks very much for watching.